Nextra, a static site generator for Next.js. Imagine you wanna spin up something like documentation or a really minimalistic blog with minimal code. Nextra will let you do that. So with Nextra, all you have to do is configure two files and create an app.js and it will take care of the rest. It's powered by Markdown, which makes it really easy for anyone to get started. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how quickly you can spin up a documentation website using Nextra with dark mode, with search enabled, and much more. So if you're interested in learning how Nextra can speed up things like documentation or creating a blog, stick around as we get into this video. Before we get started though, really quick, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to drop it a like, comment on more things you wanna see, and of course, make sure you're subscribed as we're gonna try and hit 5K by the end of the year. So let's get started with Nextra. So before we got started with the code, I thought it'd be really good to show what Nextra looks like in a production application. So this is the Nextra website, which is built on top of Nextra. As you can see, you now have this sort of sidebar here with nested documentation. So here we have the features tab and inside of that we have MDX and inside of that, each of these headings creates a new section. So some of the cool features that it has right out of the box is it does have MDX support and it also supports SSG. Even though you're only using Markdown files, you can use SSG inside of it to have those incremental static regeneration or just pages that need data from somewhere when you build it. On top of that, next image is supported out of the box and is great. So it gives you the same ability as you do with Next.js, even with this. On top of that, you do have things like dark mode. You have the ability to have certain sections so you can have these call outs that you know like a default one or a warning if you need to tell people that your api is going to be deprecated uh errors and you can also do things like bleed now what bleed does is it kind of extends it out and uh slightly wider than the container so it overflows so like with videos you can have this very wide thing here or you can do a full header using the bleed full so these are all cool features and I'm going to show you how to get started with this with a really basic setup. So let's go to our terminal and to Visual Studio Code and start playing around with Nextra. So we're inside of the terminal and getting ready to create our Nextra application. So what I did was just create a directory called Nextra-docs and you can call it whatever you want. And now we need to install all of the packages we might need. So we just do yarn add next nextra react react dom and finally nextra theme docs which will handle all the theming for us so now we have that let them install and then we can open visual studio code and start talking about how to set this up so we're inside visual studio code now and we have a very blank state all we have is all the components we might need to create a next application. So what we need to do is create a few configurations. First, we need to do a Next.js configuration to tell it to use Nextra. Secondly, we need to create a theme configuration that will tell it what kind of things we want to see, such as dark mode, do we want to see links between pages, etc., etc. So the first thing, let's create this next.config. Now, Nextra kind of works like a plugin. So that's how we're going to treat it in our config file. So we can do a const and we'll call it with nextra and we'll say require nextra. And then from there, we can open this up and say we need two things to make this work. One, a theme that we've picked and two, where the theme configuration is, where we're going to load those details in. So we do theme here and we'll do nextra dot theme dash docs and then for the theme config we're going to set that to dot slash theme dot config dot js 
And then all we need to do now is export this out. So we can just do module exports equal to with Nextra and hit save. So now that next.config.js is done, we just need to create a theme file. So we can do a new file, theme.config.js, and just make sure that this matches wherever you want to call it. And then all we need to do is create our theme. Now, the way this works is we do an export default and we create this object. And inside of here, we give it all the options that we need. So, one thing that you want to do is set where this should live in GitHub as well as where the doc repository base should be. So we do GitHub here and I'm just going to set this to HTTPS github.com slash Perkins JR, which is mine and then Nextra dash docs. Then I'm going to copy this to save a bit of time and set docs repository base so the repository base set it to this but slash blob slash master or main as it is by default now so now we have that now we get to sort of decide what kind of things that we want so one thing i like is the title suffix and this gives us just something on our titles, so we can do title suffix and I'll do dash James's docs. And now the con real configuration starts. So I'm gonna tell it that I want next links. So links to the next page, I'll set that to true. I want back, so previous links, I'll set that to true. I like dark mode, so let's set dark mode to true. And uh, let's have search as well as an option. So you just do search is equal to true. And we can set a footer here so that we have something at the bottom of our page. We set that to true as well. And then we can give it some text. So footer text. And we'll set that to uh, James's cool docs 2021. Uh, and then... Uh, we'll hit save. So now we have this options and it has all sorts of cool features. So we're gonna have links on different pages. We're gonna have a dark mode, we're gonna have search, we're gonna have a footer that has James's cool docs. And all of our titles are gonna have a suffix of James-docs. So now we have that. Now we just need to actually start creating pages. So we do need to create a new folder here called pages. And the most important one is underscore app.js. This is how we tell it we're going to be using Nextra again. So we can do import Nextra dash theme dash docs styles dot CSS. Now this is fully extendable. So if you don't like the styling, you can make your own. And I'll drop a link to an example repository, but you can make your own as you need to. So we do export default function, nextra, and then we just do our standard component, comma, page props, and then inside of here we just do return component, and then inside of that we need dot dot page props, and then we make sure that this is wrapped correctly as an object, and there we go. So now we have app.js. What we can start doing now is create just pages. So we can do index page here, we'll do index.md and give it a title, say welcome. And then underneath we can do welcome to my Nextra docs site. And then we'll create another page. We'll call this Nextra docs.md and say, this is some docs. Welcome to my docs page. Here is where you can find some cool stuff. Hit save, hit save, and then we can do terminal 
yarn next to run next. And then that will spool up a website and I'm just gonna flip over to that and we can see what it looks like out of the box. So here we are on our site already. And as you can see, it's built this sidebar with index and next. And if you click them, it will take us to the site part that we need. We have search, so we could search for NX and Nextradocs immediately comes up. We have dark mode. If this was a GitHub repository, it would be here. So we have dark mode here and everything's ready to go. So that's how easy it is that you can set up a docs page using Nextra in minutes. So what did you think of Nextra? Really simple integration to give you a fully fledged documentation site using just Markdown. It's really powerful and really easy to get set up. So now there's no excuses for people to be like, documentation is too hard to implement. Now, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop it a like, comment with more things you wanna see in the Next.js and Jamstack world. And until next time, see ya.